What is the Incredicoaster? The Incredicoaster is a steel-launched roller coaster located at Disney California Adventure in California, USA. It currently stands as the 8th longest roller coaster in the world, featuring over 1,851 meters of track. Incredicoaster opened to the public on the 8th of February 2001 with the rest of Disneyland's second theme park, California Adventure. The brand new park, located adjacent to Disneyland in Anaheim, California, was themed to the history and culture of the very same state. As a result, the Incredicoaster didn't actually open under the Incredicoaster name. Instead, the ride debuted as the more fitting California Screamin'. Originally located within the Paradise Pier section of the resort, an area designed to resemble the booming Pacific Coast Broadwalk parks of the 1920s, the attraction was loosely themed to a traditional roller coaster of the very same time period. Costing roughly 60 million US dollars, California Screaming was manufactured by Intamin and stylized to look like a wooden roller coaster despite being made entirely out of steel. This was done by mimicking the lattice style supports of a classic wooden ride. To make it even more unique, each train was fitted with 108 speakers, allowing for a custom designed soundtrack to be played during the experience created by Gary Hoey and George Wilkins. To begin their ride, guests would roll towards the launch straight located along the area's lake. Originally, waves would crash against the boulders adjacent to the launch, creating a more realistic broadwalk feel. At this point, riders would hear a countdown announcement by D. Bradley Baker before being propelled along the lake. Then, partway through the layout, riders would complete the roller coaster's only inversion, a vertical loop, located in front of a giant Mickey Mouse shaped backdrop. At least, this was how it was originally meant to be. Disney had big plans for its second gate park, even going as far to say that they would have to send people away during the first few weeks due to how busy they thought it would be. However, sadly, this just wasn't the case. Attendance for the first year was much lower than expected, mainly driven by negative reviews from early visitors. It appeared that Disney's idea for a theme park located in California, themed to California, backfired. The park had originally been intended for an older audience than normal, with more restaurants and shops than the average Disney experience. However, many criticized California Adventure for its off-the-shelf rides, which were similar to attractions at other parks nearby. On top of this, tourists didn't want to experience the state of California through a theme park, they'd much rather explore the real deal for themselves. By 2007, Disney knew that their park wasn't going to be the success they had initially hoped for. As a result, they announced an all-new, multi-year plan. Disney stated that they would spend 1.1 billion US dollars redesigning the entire park, but California Screamin' apparently missed the memo. The ride did close for refurbishment briefly, but not much changed. The vertical loop was retracked, and the Mickey Mouse shaped backdrop was replaced by a large sun with the neon words Paradise Pier displayed on top. The launch announcements were also updated, this time featuring a recording by Neil Patrick Harris. California Screaming was also renamed Rockin' California Screaming as part of a resort-wide promotion in which the onboard audio was replaced with a remix of Red Hot Chili Peppers around the world. Meanwhile, the rest of the park got a complete overhaul. Several new, large-scale attractions were constructed, including the development of entirely new theme lands such as the much-enjoyed Cars Land. Paradise Pier as a whole also saw improvements, including the construction of a spectacular water fountain show, World of Color. Disney's 1.1 billion US dollar makeover caused attendance to increase drastically, finally meeting the expectations Disney had for its opening year. Though, California Screaming was destined for its own complete overhaul. In late 2017, Disney announced the closure and retheming of Paradise Pier to Pixar Pier, which included the area's flagship roller coaster being rebranded into the Incredicoaster. California Screaming closed on the 8th of January 2018 and reopened on the 23rd of June 2018 as the brand new ride, the Incredicoaster. As its name suggests, it was rethemed to the animated movie series, The Incredibles, more specifically, the recently debuted Incredibles 2. Included within this redesign was a brand new storyline incorporated directly into the ride. 
As guests traverse the queue line, they are met with screens showing a loop of clips featuring The Incredibles and Edna Mode who are being interviewed for the coaster's rededication as The Incredicoaster. Throughout these videos, Jack-Jack starts using his unpredictable powers leading up to the ride's narrative. You have to help The Incredibles find Jack-Jack. To do this, visitors board the trains through one of the ride's two station platforms. Each vehicle is made up of six cars, which seat guests in two rows of two. This leads to a total of 24 riders per train. Once ready, visitors dispatch from the station building and come face to face with Jack-Jack teleporting across the green room. At this point, Edna explains that Jack-Jack is gone and the hunt to find him begins. The train comes to a stop on the launch straight, causing Dash to count down the launch. <laughs> Riders are accelerated from 0 to 89 km per hour in 4 seconds using linear induction motors, commonly known as LIMs. This launch sequence occurs on average every 36 seconds, helping to accommodate approximately 2,200 visitors every hour. This is where the ride actually begins, as guests climb through the first of the roller coaster's many tunnels. Dubbed a scream tube, these help to reduce the noise generated by the ride due to its proximity to nearby residential areas. Inside of the tunnel, riders see Dash avoid lasers shot from Jack-Jack's eyes. After cresting the hill, the trains plummet towards the ground before completing a shallow upward bank turn to the right into the attraction's first mid-course brake run. Guests then traverse a downward spiral, followed by a left-hand bank drop into the ride's second tunnel. The trains are pushed upwards by another set of LIMs, allowing them to climb 37 meters high. Within the tunnel, riders see various Incredibles characters trying to catch Jack-Jack and even smell the cookies offered to him by Mr. Incredible. They then dive back towards the ground and complete a long right-hand turn. Here, guests enter a small drop, leading them directly into the roller coaster's only inversion, a vertical loop. Interestingly, the Incredicoaster inherited the title of the world's longest roller coaster to feature an inversion from a formerly operating ride, Son of Beast at King's Island. Son of Beast used to hold the title, but its single vertical loop was removed in 2006, causing it to forfeit the record completely. After the trains navigate the Incredicoaster's loop, they climb into another mid-course brake run located inside of a third tunnel. Here, guests see Jack-Jack on fire but are protected by Violet's force field. The trains descend another drop before navigating a large right-hand turn and entering another mid-course brake run. This is followed directly by a series of airtime hills and yet another mid-course brake run. Guests whip to the left and complete a stretched 360-degree helix, leading them into the ride's final brake run. Throughout the entire experience, riders navigate a total of four mid-course brake runs within approximately 120 seconds of ride time. They also see and hear the various Incredibles characters communicate with each other, all while a custom soundtrack, produced by the same composer of the film soundtrack, Michael Giacchino, plays in the background. In the end, an oversized Jack-Jack is seduced by a large cookie, which is seen as guests make their way back towards the station building. Overall, it's obvious that the Incredicoaster is far from Disney's best attempt at theming a ride. But even despite this, it has always been one of the park's most notable attractions, which continues to attract many guests day after day. Most enjoy the overall roller coaster experience, especially due to its first launch and long ride time. All in all, the Incredicoaster is just that, a roller coaster. A pure adrenaline thrill in a park that was once absent of unique rides. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the ride, as well as its life as California Screaming, in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time.